Hello and welcome back. It's Forrest out here in St. Louis, also known as the Media Dude. He just wanted to, to cover some uh, really cool uh, tips and tricks with you today. Just uh, sitting here sort of relaxing in my favorite red chair that I would like to sit in uh, when I'm doing videos. As a matter of fact, just finished eating some Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Uh, it's a little afternoon time. I don't know if you're a Cinnamon Toast Crunch fan like I am. Uh, you'll eat it in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. But basically what I, I wanted to do today was um, uh, go over a couple of things. One, um, the title that you see here, my weekly reach was 4,008. I feel so well, you know, inadequate. Is there a little blue pill that I can take to reach more fans? That's just sort of a catch. It's a gimmick. has absolutely nothing to do with this post, although it is a good question that we'll probably cover in another video, is what can you do to, uh, to grow your Twitter base, to grow your fan base, to get more people sort of under your umbrella, um, people that will pay attention to you, people that are attracted to you, people that will like you, so on and so forth. The list is endless. There's tons of professional people out there uh, teaching classes and uh, uh, having seminars and workshops and webinars that teach you how to sort of brand yourself, attract people to yourself, to get uh, create uh, brand advocates and uh, 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 raving fans and things like that. But today's video, we're going to do some, a little bit of techie stuff here. As you can see, this is my uh, Twitter page that you're looking at that I've done a screen uh, shot of here. It says that I have 41,726 followers, and I'm following about 45,338 people. My Twitter stream runs about 400 tweets every half second, every 30 seconds, uh, so it's absolutely crazy. A lot of people say, what do you do with all those fans? Well, I love to use Twitter as a complete marketing base, and I'm a little bit off, but I'm just throwing this at you. Again, it's a video that's going to come up down the road. Just sort of throwing some teasers at you. How do you grow your Twitter base to be this big if you're not famous, if you're not a Justin Bieber or a uh, Denzel Washington or somebody like that? somebody that's not famous how do you grow your Twitter base how do you get to this point point? and I've got some really cool simple stuff that I use I, it took me about eight months to get to about a thousand fans and then over the next 90 days I went from a thousand fans to 15,000 fans doing some real quirky cool fun tweets into my Twitter stream that caused people to retweet that, that caused people to want to follow me, that caused people to more retweets and so on and so forth. Anyway, now I'm about to, that's the people that I got there. You can see that. And the reason I keep pointing that way is because I've got this big, huge 42 inch screen that I'm looking at. And I've got a smaller screen down here that I'm looking at to keep notes on. So, anyway, my name is Forrest out here in St. Louis. Let's get into this. We're going to talk about the, uh, the real title of this uh, post today is called The Seven Essential Elements of any web page. It's a web page or a blog page. We're going to talk about how it's laid off. We're going to talk about the F. If actually go this way, your F and how that's laid out and how people's eyeballs sort of travel across the page top to bottom, left to right as I like to call it laid out so that you'll get a tip. Uh, we're going to cover the header. We'll cover the menu. Actually let me scroll down my notes here so I can see them. We'll talk about the menu, the content, the sidebar, the footer, uh, widgets, the page, and the background. And these basically apply to anything. It'll apply to your Facebook page. It'll apply to your web page. It'll apply to your Twitter is a little bit off base. It's more vertical, straight up and down, but you still have eyeballs and things. And see, Twitter sort of needs to flip their stuff around. But again, they're they're the big cheese. It's just how I see stuff. Hopefully, this information will help you out. First, to start, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. We're going to talk about the header. Let's jump over and talk about the header. One of my favorite sites is uh, Yellow Pages Social. You can see they've got some of their brand going up here. They sort of tell you their local social made easy. Uh, they've got a shopping cart. The first thing that you see when you come to this page, and this is just for you to look at, is where do you focus? Where do your eyeballs go? Uh, typically, most people are going to start in the upper left-hand corner. They read uh, top to bottom, left to right. So they would come here. They're going to sort of scroll across this way. They're going to move down the page like this. They're going to hit up. And you'll notice if you have a website, or a blog site and you don't have your contact information over here you are shooting yourself in the foot now you may have some people say they don't have a phone number people have to have phone numbers I'm gonna give you a perfect example I track everything that I do in sales um, this last month I we had about 506 leads that came in through uh, outside advertising that we had come into our system out of those 506 uh, leads that we got we generated about 67 sales every single one of those sales when we talk about generating leads on advertising we notice this that if the lead came in 
and it didn't have a phone number attached to where we could physically pick up the phone and call them and make contact with them, create that personal connection with them, it did not result in a sale. We've tracked this month after month after month after month. So the theory is, is when you create a, a website or you create a lead capture page or you do something and you're not capturing that person's phone number, and I'm not saying this all the time, the person is probably interested, they just may not end up buying from you. They may end up buying from somebody, but they're gonna buy to the they're gonna buy from the person that they're probably going to talk to either through a chat, an online active chat, which is sort of like I call it uh, video conferencing or real time conferencing, so an online chat or a phone call, they'll most likely end up buying from you in one of those mediums. If you have a way a vehicle to move people over to Facebook and you can chat on Facebook or you can get into a Google Hangout and you can do that and you can chat with them. And if you have a physical conversation with that person, there's about a 99% chance of an increase that you're going to get a sale. And for those of you guys that are crunching numbers, 506 uh, uh, leads that we got, 67 sales, pretty cool numbers, pretty cool percentage. I think it comes out to about 14% and we do that month after month after month after month after month because we have cool things like this, like your phone number. Now here, some people may not be able to have a 24-7 uh, cell support line set up like these guys over here at Yellow Pages Social. But you can see as you move your, as you move down the page, again, they're coming down and this is called the F on the page that we're talking about here. It moves down and you've got your content in this area eyeballs come across here uh, you've got your main uh, ad or your current ad current special offer right in the middle of the page you've got some other content over here now typically people don't pay a lot of attention to the content on this side of the page unless it's sort of repetitive so recommend here uh, again contact information here for the local office here in St. Louis as you move down the page if it's repetitive you have the same thing this is our actual Twitter feed coming down there it's just uh, yellow but most of the people are gonna see this are gonna create they keep their content sort of above the fold in this area here if you've got to scroll down there's a pretty good chance that you're probably losing business here's another example this is our uh, media dude marketing page and again you can see now I've sort of violated uh, one of the things I just told you about it's a phone number uh, contact information on this page and we'll, we'll sort of explain that because we've got our video in this area and this is sort of what we call a sales video it, it walks through and it, it discusses the opportunity the number one reason why almost everyone fails online and how we solved it so the video is here at the end of the video it instructs people to if they want to find out what that that one thing is they'll fill out this information here and they'll get access it'll take them to the next page and we can sort of move on from there from the sales letter so this is sort of a type of a sales letter uh, type kind of page we've also created and used the same tactic in a standalone lead capture page when we're talking about this type of stuff I know I'm going all over the page I was going to talk about the header and the menu and the content and the sidebar and the footer and the page but I want to give you this idea because it's it's here we can talk about it we can take notes you can always ask me questions I would say send me a tweet but I've got 45,000 people I probably won't see it actually just look me up on Facebook as the media dude drop a question right into my news feed and I'll uh, reply to it there very very quickly or you can send me a text message if you like to 314-498-7688 introduce yourself ask you a question and I'll get back to you as well this is your header up in the top this is where you're going to discuss and talk about who you are and what you do. This can be some graphics, it can be your name, uh, it, it can sort of tell people what you do. We're a social media advertising agency and marketing solution provider. Our mission is to equip business owners and entre entrepreneurs with the tools and knowledge to succeed and grow their business. Very simple. We want to give you the tools to help you succeed in your business, whatever that is. And you can provide them and give them an idea of what you do up here. As you can see, let's jump back over to Yellow Pages. Can see that here so this is their header up on the top and again it's their their business name it also includes their website address which is sort of smart especially for an online company promoting themselves online they're uh, they specialize in local social media in other words they want to make sure that people are getting found locally because if you're looking for a plumber a roofer uh, an air conditioning contractor a house painter or something like that you're most likely going to want to get somebody from your immediate community you want to keep the dollars in your community you want to make sure they're networked in your community you want to make sure probably make sure they're in good standing with the Better Business Bureau so on and so forth so that's some things that you want to look at when you're putting the page together this is your header up in the top jumping down in the menu we had jumped in that a little bit and you'll see there's sort of a dual menu here 
a menu up here. They've got their home page. They've got some ICANN disclaimers that has to do with selling domains. They've got uh, an account login, so when people come in and buy from them, they come back here, they click on that, they can log in using their credentials. You can connect with them on Facebook. You can follow them on Twitter. They can watch a YouTube video from some of the stuff that they've posted as well, which is really cool. And of course, they've got their uh, uh, additional menus here: domain names, web hosting, secure socket layers, your email accounts, your marketing. Uh, stuff and your website so they've got all that information in the menu now menus can be set up uh, two ways you can have a static solid menu here these menus can direct to other pages they can stay in your website and you create the menu so it opens up into a pop-up and things like that and again that's some of the techie things that you'll need to discuss with your website developer when they're putting that stuff together the menu usually it's below the header but sometimes menus can split you can have the menu up here you can have the menu here and all of, also if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll have the menu at the bottom with your terms your privacy disclaimers and all that stuff in terms of terms of use your privacy poli policy and all that can also be in the bottom so you can have your menu in multiple in multiple places some websites will have a floating menu so as you move down the screen as you move down the screen, the menu sort of chases you down the screen. They'll have multiple pop-ups. Um, some people say you want to have pop-ups. Some don't because sometimes there's pop-up blockers and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, make your site as accessible as possible. You also want to make sure that it's mobile ready. So that if somebody accesses this device right here, is very, very important. We were talking about marketing earlier, and one of the things that we do is when we communicate with somebody who has a phone number, we know that the person that has a phone number, their chances of, of increasing a sale are huge. So when we send them a text message that says, hey, we're trying to communicate with you, or here's a video link, or here's a product information, and it comes into their smartphone, there's a pretty good chance that they're going to reply back. They're going to tell you something. Hey, got the video, love the video, stop sending me messages, take me off your list. It's instant communication if you can communicate with them mobily and if your site is up mobile and somebody can access that and their their uh, yellow pages social dot com if you haven't seen their mobile site it's great um, the way they have it set up it's just really easy to use it's easy to see on a smartphone it's easy to access um, jumping back to um, our other page here as you notice you go down now this is a blog website and, and what we recommend over here at media dude marketing if you're going to build a website we highly recommend it be a blog website and the reason we do this is because you want to have uh, dimension and depth in your site you want to have your header and some of your branding stuff but you want to be able to communicate a basic website is static they're they're built exactly the same way uh, your your uh, website guys got to go in and add the header and install the header and install the graphics and install the menu all that stuff works the same the difference in a blog is in a blog you're gonna have information like the post that you're seeing right now the current post is how to add an how to add a header to your WordPress blog but as soon as we're done with this post the post that we're doing is gonna pop up right here at the top and it creates it when we install and push that post and submit that post it's automatically gonna tell Google hey uh, Forest over in St. Louis, also known as the Media Dude from Media Dude Marketing, just submitted another post. It pings the search engine and say there's more information out there, which makes it an active site, which is really cool. We've also set up a feature so that when we do these posts, these posts are automatically going to link into our Facebook page. We'll have pages on our Facebook page that actually mirror these. So we're also pushing that post to Facebook automatically. When it hits Facebook, it automatically tells Twitter. So all of those 41,000 people, and I've done this all with one single post. Now you can create some of those same kind of features on a website, but uh, again, you can't um, update a website the way you can a, a blog post. So if you're thinking about it, if you're a new business owner, you're not quite sure, do I want to build a website? Do I want to build, uh, do I want to have a blog? I recommend you have a blog website. Now, a blog site can function exactly like a web page. You can have your products, you can have your services, you can have standalone single pages, you can have sales pages, you can have video pages, you can build those, and you can have your blog, which is your active function going on as well. So that's some of the really cool stuff that you can have. Next, we're talking about sidebar. Sidebar is used to display ads and other features content, usually on the right side of the page that's this over here as you can see this is some sidebar information on this blog we've got our address here we've got our Facebook feed we've got our, our latest posts uh, again we've got a, a another ad we've got our recent posts we've got our categories we've got Twitter so on and so forth at the bottom then when we jump back over here to yellow pages social you'll notice that their sidebar is 
sort of to it split. They've got a sidebar here that they're using their Twitter feed on, and then they've got their menu again over here on this left side so that people can jump into it. And this is more of a corporate static site, a little bit different than you would have in a blog site. So you've got two of those function, two of the functionalities there and two different types of sites that you'd be looking at. Your sidebar. Jumping down, we'll get into the footer. The footer is simply this stuff down here in the bottom and the footer can do multiple things the footer um, is used to display credits copyrights trademarks again the navigation menu your privacy policy your legal terms and conditions um, what you can what you can't do sometimes what I recommend people do is add their inc include their address down in here somewhere as well because your address is also searchable on Google so if somebody does a Google search for something in their local geographic area if you have your address on the top of your site on the bottom of your site in your footer in your sidebar somewhere and you build it in as a text versus putting in it as an image that's going to be searchable on Google and a lot of people use these devices right here to find stuff I was in uh, a little town here uh, down the road in Ferguson a little while ago sitting in front of a bicycle shop did a search for bicycle shops and the nearest bicycle shop showed up four miles away when I was sitting in front of this one the reason his shop didn't show up is because he didn't have his website set up correctly he didn't have his Facebook page set up correctly he didn't have anything formatted to let Google and the search engines know that he had a bicycle shop there although he had spent three thousand dollars on his website I didn't get it I don't know what his website his, his website was beautiful and gorgeous and really sexy but his website guy didn't have a clue about marketing and getting found on the internet so just because you have a website guy that can build a beautiful website doesn't mean they understand the back-end workings and how to get it SEO and how to get it found and how to get found in your local market and basically the page pages are a little bit different when you start getting into um, websites they all function the same here you see you've got multiple pages down here you can click on different things like email plans express email marketing so on yellow pages social you click on their email marketing page it jumps over and they've got a web page here and you'll notice their header comes across they've still got all their links and everything up here you can scroll down and you see they've got sort of a sales page so that somebody can buy directly from the page you scroll down the bottom again you're gonna see the footer uh, down in this area on the bottom of the page that goes and then your your background is this area back in here how do you want this to look some people add images some people just want to have color um, as we're as we're building our site we may end up taking this eagle and pulling it down into this area some people like it cluttered some people like it clean my recommendation is to sort of keep this area in the back clean because you want to try and keep people's eyeballs focused in the middle here remember that F you've got the top letter of the F you've sort of got the middle letter of the F coming across and as people come down the page they're gonna see these now what's really cool about a blog and having a sidebar is you've got an F on each one of these blog posts so if somebody comes into here in other words how to set up and install your WordPress site if I click on this page and open up this post everything up here stays the same okay but I roll down in and now my post is just a little bit different it's back in the F so you're gonna do top to bottom left to right so they're gonna come across they're gonna see this they're gonna see this ad again how to set up and install your WordPress site they're gonna click on the video it's going to play we've got all the contents below and again it's top to bottom left to right so they're gonna read down the page every time they come across they're gonna see this information over here every time they come across they're gonna see this information over here so how you set up and design your page using that format if you're if you've got stuff just all over the place a little bit here you got a big ad here a small ad here a little ad over there you've got highlights in yellow highlights in green pick out your color pick out your scheme pick out what you like I'm sort of a patriot I like the whole red white and blue thing that's me um, retired military I love that I you know I salute retired veterans so this is my idea I love America I love business I love helping people get their businesses off the ground If you can't tell I'm sort of passionate about that that's sort of what I do but I hope this information has helped you out I uh, look forward to seeing you online feel free I would say uh, I would say tweet me but a good chances of you finding my me finding your tweets I apologize uh, they just get missed go ahead and just look me up on Facebook I'm on Facebook as the media dude you can come over and talk to me again my name is Forrest also known as the media dude on Facebook and Twitter here in St. Louis Hope this information helped you out, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.